Hey, it's Caitlin from the Teaching Suite Shop, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make cute and colorful clip art in PowerPoint. Um, we'll be focusing on how I made these cute little love bugs. Um, one thing you should know before making clip art in PowerPoint is if you make clip art in PowerPoint, you really want to make it the size that you're going to need it. Clip art that's made in PowerPoint won't resize as well as clip art that's made in programs like Photoshop. I usually do clip art in PowerPoint kind of as a last resort if I can't find something online that I like, and usually I can, um, because of that quality issue. Some great clip artists to look at, um, the Creative Chalkboard, Creative Clips, her stuff's really cute. Um, and her stuff comes with black lines built in, so it's a good deal. The School Supply Addict, lots of good stuff here. Again, all of her black lines are included. Print Candy, um, this is a website with a collection of clip artists, and they have all sorts of things here, actually. Party printables, digital papers, they've got a lot of cute stuff. I see a lot of these owls around online, especially on Pinterest. Uh, Mari True Love. Lots of good stuff here. Um, these don't come with black lines, so if you're using the clip art for like worksheets and stuff, I would suggest something that has a black line to it. But anyway, back to the clip art. So today I'm going to show you how to make these little love bugs. So I have a fresh page in PowerPoint. I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to do a heart for the body of my love bug. Make it a little bit bigger than the last one that I did. Okay. I'm going to make the basic body before I start playing around with colors. Flip it around. Now I'm going to insert another shape. I'm going to be using the circle shape to make her head and bottom. So here's the head. Now some, if you want it wider, just leave it loose. Uh, but if you want a perfect circle, um, if you hold down shift and then let me try to do it again to show you guys, um, hold down shift and it will automatically make it a perfect circle. And then you release to let go. There's her head and a bottom. make it kind of wide and then once I add color to it I gonna kind of work at it making it a little nicer flow um, now this doesn't really look like the li uh, love bug I had before because the body needs to come to the front so I select that basic heart body and bring it to the front now we're looking a little bit more like a love bug uh, gonna go ahead and do the antenna another shape I'm just going to do a line for the antenna. And you can make them however long you want. I'm going to do the end arrow as a circle so that it looks kind of like an antenna there. Now I want it thicker, I think. Right now it's at a half point. I want it at six. So now I'm going to copy and paste this. You can right click and copy and then right click and paste. Or you can hold down control, press C, then hold down control, press V. If it will work for me. Now I want to kind of keep my angle similar. So I'm just going to rotate it and flip it horizontally. I'm going to position it to where I think it should be. There we go. Now I can start playing around with my colors. Fix that antenna. You know what? I'm just going to highlight both of them and then align them in the middle. Make my life a little easier. So now for the colors. I want my antenna, I'm going to select both of them, to be black. Oh, if your format shape doesn't come up when you initially make it, if you just right click the object and click on format shape it will. Yours might not be in a side pane, yours might pop out. 
So I'm going to make these black. Make the head and the bottom black. This time I'm up here and my shape fell because I don't want an outline. So I'm going to select no outline. For the body, I'm going to fill it with this corally red. No outline. Now this little bottom down here I can kind of reposition so it tucks under a little nicer. And there's our basic uh, love bug. Now, I, instead of regular dots, I like to do little hearts. So I'm going to get another heart tool and make a heart. Over here on the side, it tells me the height and the width. I want these to be a little bit bigger. And I want them black with no out. Now I'm going to press Control C, Control V, and it pastes one. Um, I'm going to paste a bunch of them so that I can reposition them <laughs> instead of just doing it one at a time. Then I'm going to select some of these. Ooh, not what I wanted. I must have grabbed the side of it. I just want to move them over. Okay. So I'm going to start down the middle. There we go. And then you can just place them however you want. For the sake of time, I'm just going to kind of randomly drag these over just so that the video doesn't get too long. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. But anyway. Um, so now we have our basic clip art. Um, you can select it all. Right click, save as picture, and then we can change this to love bug underscore coral red. Now you can change this fill color to whatever you want. You can make a purple one, and then all you do is select it all again and save as picture. So instead of coral red, this one will be purple. Now, if I wanted to make this a little bit um, more creative, I could use digital papers, which are kind of like background files, to change it. So let's say I want the head to be some, something have a little more of a pattern to it. Instead of picking a color, I'm going to click on picture. Now I have some of these digital papers just in a folder so that I can see them easier. Um, this one came from the Creative Clips. And now you can kind of see it's got a little more detail to it. I'm going to tile it. Now I have it automatically set to go to 50% when I tile it, but you can change that if you want those, you know, whatever percentage you want. And I think I'm going to do the bottom the same way. Now, if you have your format shape on the side or popped out, you can click on picture. And because I just did the other black one, it automatically fits that in there. And then I can change this with a picture. Now, I don't want that black one again. So I'm going to choose a different one. I could do, I have this coral paper. I'm going to tile that one as well, but not at 25%. I'll bring this one up to 50. And there we go. We have a cute little love bug. I hope this helped you guys out. You can, um, if you don't want to spend the time making these little love bugs, you can go to my Facebook page. It's the facebook.com backslash teaching sweet shop right up here. If you click on freebies for fans, you can go ahead and just download the love bug clip art that I've already made. I also included a black line. Um, and at another time I'm going to show you guys how you can use um, dingbat fonts to make some really cute clip art as well. Thanks.